Just imagine if the car you drive ran on sunlight. We can't solve the world's problems by replacing gasoline engines with electric cars. Imagine if that car was built to be shared, not owned. Some people are trying to make that car. And if they succeed, they might just change the world. We really have to think in generations, far more longer term. That's what we're fighting for. This is the story of two young inventors and their creation, the Scion. It's also the story of a dream that almost died before it was rescued by one of the biggest crowdfunding campaigns ever seen in Europe. Neither of us owns a car, and we probably never will. Just think, there are 8 billion people on this planet. If everybody wants a smartphone and a car, and wants to eat meat and go on vacation twice a year, it won't work. The Earth doesn't have the resources. Lauren Hahn and Jona Christians may not own a car, but they certainly invented one, the Sono Scion an electric car that can charge itself using solar energy panels. Almost 61% of our oil is burned to give us mobility. We realized we had to make society independent of this resource. The Scion can gain 34 kilometers of extra range from solar power per day. The rest has to come from an electricity socket. The car is set to go into production in 2022. The journey began here, at a Waldorf school in Munich. It's where the two friends learned the tools of their future trade, with inspiration coming from one person in particular. It was our physics teacher, Mr. Krauss, who awakened the inventor in us, or me at least. He showed us all the amazing technical innovations around. That's when I wanted to become an inventor. The idea is to familiarize people with technology and how it works. That's the only way they'll feel connected with the world and get their grounding. What impressed me most about the two was the belief in their vision, the belief in introducing a technology that could help to improve the world. I remember learning about the combustion engine, which I found technically exciting but utterly inefficient. For me it was already clear back then that burning up a resource that would be gone for good could not work in the long term. In their late teens, they began tinkering away on a solar car in a garage. Three years later, in 2015, it made its debut drive. You could say it was our university, three years of independent study. We also wanted to show that the technology works and that we could found a company based on it. Developing an electric car is very expensive. Tesla got almost half a billion dollars in loans from the US government in 2010. The small Munich startup Sono Motors had no such support, but they were rich in creative thinking. At some point, we realized we couldn't do it on our own, so we decided to open up the project at a very early stage and go down a different route from the conventional car industry. Lauren and Jona set out to find other people who shared their vision. They embarked on a tour of 61 towns and cities in seven countries, inviting the public to ride in a Scion. That won them advance orders, down payments and donations. 820,000 crowdsourced euros. And this new community also helped steer the development of the Scion using online questionnaires. The color, how many seats, charging capacity, infotainment and so on. We let the community have a say on technical features, because ultimately we're making a vehicle not for ourselves, but for everyone else out there. The Scion is set to go on sale for approximately 25,000 euros, a price tag that is only achievable with a one product strategy. One color, one standard equipment version. For the big car makers, it's an unthinkable approach. Their economic model relies on customers individualizing their cars from a massive list of optional extras. 
Sono Motors has different priorities. When we set up the firm in 2016, we were driven by the idea that Sono should be around for a long time. We wanted its effect on people and the environment to be long-lasting, not short-term. That sustainability includes real Iceland moss in the air conditioning that filters out 20% of fine particulate matter and ensures natural humidity. Sono is working to integrate the solar cells into the bodywork, so they're almost invisible on the production car. The vehicle is one thing, but we also want it to be shared as much as possible, so we developed three services – car sharing, ride sharing and power sharing. Car sharing is already well established. With ride sharing, you can find an extra passenger with a single click. And the third option enables you to pass on electricity from your car to e-bikes, for example. If every car on the planet were electric and shareable, then we'd have sustainable mobility. A car born of a vision of mobility without CO2 emissions or gasoline. A vehicle that is shared by as many people as possible. Is the world really ready for the Sono Scion? We still live in an era of cars as status symbols and of growing demand for SUVs and other gas guzzlers. An era where people tend to prefer personal ownership over sharing models. How could Sono's concept work in these times? The 13,000 orders we've had show that people do want the car, and this is the best time we could hope for. People are upset and realize that we have to take things into our own hands. They're disappointed with their governments and with big companies. But traditional car makers are catching up, developing and launching their own e-cars that cost sometimes even less than the Scion which presents an additional challenge for Sono Motors' business plan. But the two inventors remain confident about their not-for-profit business philosophy. Our stated company objective is to protect the environment and people and nature. The notary smiled when he read that. He said he'd never seen anything like it before. We know that EVs aren't always green, but we can see a far bigger chance, with 100% renewable energy, with recycling and with sharing, of completely rethinking mobility and above all ensuring a future for cars. Because the current way of doing things is a hundred years old and hasn't evolved at all. But at the end of 2019, the company nearly hit the end of the road. To build the final prototype, Sono needed an additional 50 million euros. But a number of investors had lost faith in the project and pulled out, saying the profit margins were too small. Obviously, the Scion is not going to give you the kind of margins that a sports car will. It is financially feasible, but it isn't the sort of technology you would put into cars in the higher price segment. But the 13,000 people supporting us do not want us to throw in the towel. So we gave the whole thing a rethink, meaning it's about the people who want the Scion and this new approach to doing business. That's why we're doing this, and they are the ones who can make it possible. The fate of Sono Motors would again be determined by its community. The mission was to raise 50 million euros in 50 days, something a European company had never done before. Suddenly, the two young founders were busier than ever. They were the most demanding few weeks of our lives, physically and mentally. We had to work non-stop through the Christmas holidays and New Year. On January the 19th, two days short of the deadline, they reached the magical figure of 50 million. The rescue was partly thanks to two major investors increasing their stakes. Hitting the 50 million mark on January 19th and closing with 53 million gave us massive confirmation that we were doing things right. We knew we could carry on and bring our car to the streets. It told us to fight for a new kind of entrepreneurship. And that's what we're going to do.
Das werden wir tun. Und ist auch so, also 53 million is in a way just a number, but having 7000 people supporting Sono financially during the campaign is really encouraging. The figure is one thing, but meeting these people and seeing how much they care is something else. They've also had a hand in developing this car. Genauso was in die Hand zu nehmen. Sono was still celebrating when the coronavirus pandemic hit. But with its funding secure, the firm has pushed on. A further 200 million euros is needed to begin mass production of the Scion in the Swedish city of Trollhättan. The former Saab factory has been given a new lease of life and is now 100% powered by renewable energy, of course. The story of Sono continues, with the lessons so far that visions can become reality if enough people believe in them.